Welcome to a SolidWorks video tutorial. I want to do the exercise with one sketch rules them all now in SolidWorks. In SolidWorks we have the possibility to create a layout, so I will do so. Create layout. I have an empty assembly and I want to create a layout for it. Let's get to normal view some circles give it dimensions and then it would automatically scale that's very nice Okay, now let's align at least these two. This, and I need two lines. Make them tangent. And like this, okay. And I need another dimension between these two circles. This should be, let's say, one of them. And I could leave the layout, or I could already make some blocks. So I make a block with this circle, another block with this circle, and another block with these elements. Okay, I will leave the layout for a moment, go to Tools, and there are two equations, and I want to define some global variables. One to control one, which might be 40 millimeters. Another one called hold two, which might be 50 millimeters. Another one which is called center one, which might be 20 millimeter. Another one, center 2, which could be 30 millimeters. One which I call depth. This could be 10 millimeters. And one which is called length, which could be 100 millimeters. I will not define the parameters for the distances of the planes which I want to create because it doesn't work in SOLIDWORKS. I cannot control planes with parameters. It's not possible. I don't know why, but it doesn't work. So, I'm happy with this. And I could already export these and link them to an external file because I want this one in an external file. So, I link it to an external file. I create a new file and I want only one parameter in this file. Link and export. Call this file equations. And I don't need 
this and I will need this one export and now this one is written into a file and I confirm it. Now I go back to my layout and I will edit the blocks. So select this one, edit it and change this to a global variable. This should be whole one. Confirm it. Leave the block, go to this block, edit it and again This should be all two. And then go to this one and change these values to the variables. This should be connector length. Okay. This one should be center two divided by two. And this one should be center one, also divided by two. Okay, leave the block. Now add some relations. So this point and that point should be coincident, and this point and that point should be coincident as well. Now I could leave my layout or I could already do the parts. So I will make three parts of these three blocks. So I make a part from that block, confirm, make another part from that block, confirm, and the third one, make a part from this block, and confirm. Now I'm ready to leave my layout and create the parts. Now let's create the parts and I need two planes. So I will go for reference geometry and I need a plane. And the reference plane should be in this case the front plane and the distance should be for the first one 10 millimeters. And that's the problem. I cannot use variables right here. So therefore I didn't make the plane one and plane two variables and parameters. Confirm it. And I need another one. Another plane parallel to the front plane. And this distance should be 20 millimeters. And confirm. Now let's go to my first part, which is called block one four. And I want to edit it. I want to make an extrude with this. And it should go up to a plane. So change this from line to up to surface. And select plane 1. And confirm. I can mirror the body. So go to mirror. Bodies to mirror. That's the body and the plane with which I want to mirror it. Come on, is the front plane right here and confirm. I can leave this part, go to the next one, edit it again, make an extrude plus space with this sketch, and again. Up to surface, that's plane two. Confirm, mirrored this body. With that plane, confirm. Okay, now the third part this one, edit it, and I need a, a variable right here. So I go to 
tools equations and define a new one which is called depth same name as in my assembly and I give it the same value as in my assembly that's 10 millimeters these are not necessary you could delete them like this and then link this variable to my external file that's equations and link and now the text file controls this variable confirm and now let's do another extrude plus space with the sketch right here and this should be f 10 millimeters divided by 2 confirm again I can mirror this body with the front plane and confirm it I can leave my part and next I could check if I can control this assembly with the sketch and my variables. Now let's check if I really can control this assembly with one sketch and the variables. So first I go to tools equations and then I change one, one or two of these values. Maybe let's change this one to 50 millimeters. And yes, it worked. Back to 40. Again, this length change it to 120 millimeters. Confirm. So it sort of didn't work, but go to the layout, activate it, and make an update, and you see it works. Now for the linked value that's the depth so i go to tools and equations this value you cannot change the value right here you have to go to the link file change this value maybe to five millimeters save it close it see it made an update right here and it made an update in my assembly so this works as well this concludes this video i hope you enjoyed it as the other ones and i will try to do something something similar in creo we will see if it works so see you to the next video bye bye